Hey guys and um, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't posted anything on here in ages. It's been a while but I thought we would do a let's play together of The Sims 4. I thought what better way to reintroduce myself than to create myself as a sim and recreate the flat that I'm currently living in. If you guys are new to this channel I do a lot of different things but my main loves are music, gaming, technology, that kind of thing, and I've really been getting into The Sims 4 recently. If you guys aren't all that interested in watching me create a sim and watching me create a flat, I have sped up uh, parts of these videos just because they are so long. Um, and you can skip ahead to the first part of the playthrough. My whole idea for that is that it's not so much story based, it is just a rags to riches kind of story. So starting with what I have. Um, I cheated a little bit of money so that I had everything and it was all roughly the same. Um, but that's in my next video and you can catch the first part of the actual playthrough as well. So I started here with somebody quite a bit different to myself, uh, so that was really interesting. Um, I took the hair off, um, at this point I'm just fiddling about with eyes, which I was super picky about because it's so difficult to actually find your eyes in a game with the millions of eyes. They all looked a little bit like... I don't know, I think he looks kind of stoned, so I was just trying to play about with the eyes and make them look relatively normal, and here I am making the pupils huge, yay. Um, like I said, I haven't actually gone in depth with Creator Sim in quite a long time, so this was a good experience for me. I think what inspired me to do this was I'd watched a lot of English Simmer videos recently, so shout out to her, she's great, she's amazing. Um, and. I just wanted to do something that was a bit of fun and still got me back into editing because it's something I really enjoy doing. I also really enjoy making these kind of videos so it was just kind of like a where's my niche? Where do I fit? What can I do? So do let me know if there are any videos similar or that kind of thing that you want to see. Gaming wise, I'm more of a platformer, family oriented person. I will give most things a go. I'm not good and I don't really like games with a lot of violence or guns and that kind of thing because I'm just terrible at them. Um, but let me know in the comments um, what you would like to see. future videos as well I will be recording the narration while I'm playing so it seems a little bit more natural. Uh, this was recorded after I'd created a sim uh, only because I'm using two different computers to do this because my Mac's not so hot on graphics so I thought I'd use my Windows laptop to do that so when that's all set up I will be simultaneously recording the audio and the screen at the same time so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'll be talking along with you. Um, at this point I'm just fussing over my brows because eyebrows are important. I, I would also like to put a disclaimer out here that I am not bald. I uh, actually pick this up as a tip from other YouTubers and things to get rid of the hair so you can properly focus on the facial features and the head without the distraction of there being hair and it really helps with the head shape and how far down your face is so at this point I'm just gonna make myself slimmer um, a little less full faced and I believe I work on the nose at this point. I hope I work on the nose at this point because that is a very big nose. Uh, there was a lot of jumping around from thing to thing because I was really trying to work out the best way to create this sim. <laughs> So I apologise for that. I'm not normally this jumpy, like I say, uh, I think just a first time recording gives you nerves, which I wasn't expecting. Like, I'm like, I can't even see me and I'm nervous. <laughs> um, 
Another thing I don't normally do is go into profile on noses and stuff, so I never even think about looking side on at a sim when I'm making them, which is really bad. Like, I've just gotten lazy with my sim editing. So this was a good refresh, really good refresh, just to make my lips look a little less plump. Um, and and yeah, I think at this point as well, I'm going to change my physique because I'm it's kind of the only thing I do miss about The Sims is you can't actually edit your height anymore. And other than being a you child or a toddler or a baby, uh, you can't edit how tall or how short your sim is, which is interesting because nobody is a uniform height so yeah i would like to point out that i am much less tall than this sim i wish i was this tall it would really help me with a lot of things i love the way they just stand there and smirk while you mess with their cheekbones and their eyebrows and they're like yeah it's totally fine i'm a living thing just pull me apart it's for science. It's fine. Eyebrows. Colour hair again. So I currently have yellowy orangey hair. Um, they don't have yellow orangey hair and I was really looking forward to adding some custom content but I didn't know what to add and I didn't know what works and what doesn't. So for this playthrough I thought I'd just keep the sims for as is. I know that a lot of different custom content can do different things to your game. Um, I'm really new to custom content. I think the last time I added custom content was either on two or three and I really wanted a drinks fountain. Um, but I've, I've never used custom skins, custom hair. Um, although I have seen some really cool things out there, I just don't really know where to find them. I know Mod The Sims exists, but that's about it. So yeah if you're part of the community and would like to help a novice please do because i literally know nothing really about custom mods and skins and all that kind of fun stuff i want to um i just didn't i guess right so this is where i got really really fussy with the head shape Again, I'm starting to look a little bit more me-like now, a little thinner in the face than I was before. Um, I'm really liking that stubble as well. I wish that was my natural hair colour. I did go for whatever I could find that was closest to my natural hair colour. I think I'm right in saying that I changed this at some point because the eyebrows look like a really good colour and a really good match but the hair that apparently matches that doesn't ah there we go okay that's that's really blonde okay I'm not that blonde I'm more of a massy brown but again finding your hair colour is not easy it was a lot easier when it was just me's and <laughs> all I had to worry about was I don't know there is a lot more things you can do in this sims editor than there have been in previous ones if you're new to the sims this is kind of where you start you start with a canvas a lot of people do it in different ways um because they tend to give you a random sim i kind of usually just start with that so that they don't look too much the same although i definitely have a type of sim I was also trying to find clothes that then matched my current clothing. I didn't go and do formal wear and uh, sleepwear, athletic wear, party wear, formal clothing. Ah, there's another one. I know there's another one. Outdoor. Um, which I'm gutted because I completely forgot. So I will go back in and I will edit those when I need to or we can just laugh at the stupid things that I'm probably wearing for formal gear uh, what I was really focused on though was trying to get my outfit matching which I think I did 
Um, I was wearing a black cardigan, so not quite brown, but the shirt's fairly similar. And I love jogging bottoms, sweatpants, whatever you want to call them. So I was also fiddling around with that. Um, and yeah, then we get onto the really cool stuff, which is uh, guessing my own traits. Um, there were points actually in the next video where Ben was involved, he's my other half, and he uh, actually helped me with some of the proportions and things of our flat because I was making it way too big. And you'll see that in a sec. And by a sec, I mean in the next video. So yeah. My apologies if I'm talking too much. I feel like I need to fill this video but I'm probably going to shut up for a few minutes while I work on my sim and I just sit here uncomfortably with a microphone. Okay, so now we have chosen some very angular glasses. I think it's almost time to move on to naming my sim. No, no, we're still going with clothing. Oh, we're still accessorizing, I see. I totally remember what I did in this video. I'm loving how hideous those camouflage and pink socks look and I'm very glad I did not pick those because there are some fugly socks on on this game. looking very suave as a sim. Okay, so this sim is slightly more suave than me and I'm gonna actually name him and give him some life. Um, this is me, everyone, as a sim. How are you doing? Uh, so I had a little bit of a dilemma with what I wanted to do as an aspiration. I was initially gonna go for, um, I wanted to be a musical genius or an author. Um, but decided on the tech guru sim, the, sorry, the computer whiz aspiration. Tech guru will probably be my job, but that's for the let's play to decide. Um, I wanted to be as close to my good traits as I could be. Uh, so I chose creativity, music lover, and I believe loner because I was trying to, to find something else that I was good at but I'm not very social so I'm gonna push this loner sim out of his comfort box in the let's play for sure 
we are gonna get him doing things I wouldn't normally do. So yeah, I'm excited for this let's play. Are you excited for this let's play? Let me know by liking this video, subscribing to my channel. If you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell so that you actually get your updates from me. Um, I'm not sure how often I'm gonna post. I'm gonna try and post as frequently as I can. Uh, bearing in mind I also have a full-time job. Um, but yes, um, I think we're about done with this sim, so I'm ready to move ahead. My apologies that I didn't go through all my outfits. Um, maybe I'll do that at a later date. Let me know if you want to, to see that. Um, tell your friends, subscribe, share, you know, all the things you used to do with YouTube videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.